Folks, be sure 94, we are here with our last WCW Monday Nitro of 2002. A uh, lot of stuff to talk about on this show. I think you guys are going to very much enjoy um, who the new general manager of WCW is. Um, and they're going to be uh, showcased here tonight in the opening segments. Uh, so we'll get into that. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking and commenting on the videos. Um, making sure I respond to every comment where I can. Uh, if you have any thoughts or any ideas, please throw them in the comments as I will definitely try to work them in if they kind of fit the storylines. Um, the, the last episode of WCW Monday Nitro for 2002 is up in New England in front of 5,000 people. Uh, we are going to have a big um, first show of 2003. You're going to see a lot of matches announced um, on this show. Uh, for that so look forward to that as well coming to you next week, but let's get to Nitro tonight So we open the show with a recap of last week's main event Which is Goldberg facing off against Buff Bagwell where we saw Goldberg get the win um, Over Buff um, in about 15 minutes. So Goldberg stays strong after winning the WCW championship uh, Quick little win on Nitro last week 63 on the video segment and here we go. So General Manager Paul Heyman comes down to the ring and he says, Your new General Manager of WCW is the returning Ric Flair. Now we haven't seen Ric Flair here in WCW in almost well over a year. Um, he was feuding with Booker T last time we saw him and it looks like Ric Flair is back in WCW where he's been a superstar, he's been the, one of the best wrestlers in the world. Uh, but however, I'm looking for him to be more of an authority figure similar to what he was in 2001 in real life with WCW However, there's not going to be any shenanigans here. Flair is going to be straight down the middle uh, But Ric Flair is our new general manager of WCW 65 rating on Paul Heyman giving the reins to Ric Flair And Ric Flair's promo uh, welcoming um, all the fans and thanking everybody for welcoming him back to WCW and he has so many things to unpack to make WCW the best it possibly can be uh, he said tonight we're gonna see um, a 20 person battle royal to see who's going to face the WCW champion Bill Goldberg next week on the first show of 2003 we are going to have um, a whole new graphic starting next week for what the look is going to be for WCW um, and you'll see that starting next week and also the big announcement that I've really been kind of holding back and I think that you guys will really enjoy this is we are bringing back Thunder uh, it's going to be a one hour um, B show um, on Thursdays and ultimately what we're going to do with that is it's going to be you're going to have still your recordings every week I'm just gonna put Thunder in there as well. Um, so a lot more TV time um, for the company, which I think will be good, which will help us bring more development, but also an hour on Thursdays for Thunder. So Thunder will be back in the fold, um, thanks to Ric Flair. So great stuff here. 69 rating on his promo. Bill Goldberg comes out, interrupts Flair, says that he doesn't trust him, <clears throat> and that we've seen Flair play this game before. And Flair assures Goldberg that's not the case this time. He's a retired wrestler. He's not the dirtiest player in the game anymore. He is here strictly to make WCW better. Goldberg says, for now, um, I will trust you and hope that you will do what's right for WCW. And I look forward to beating whoever I have to on the first Nitro of 2003 and the winner of this Battle Royal tonight. So 71 rating on Goldberg interrupting Flair. So Ric Flair's back in the fold here in WCW after a year away. Um, I think with Flair, it's going to be more of, um, I mean, he's 54 in the game. There's no reason for me to have him wrestle, and I really don't want to. Um, I signed him to a long-term extension just to have him as kind of the, um, the old guard of WCW, and I think that's probably what we're going to keep him as here um, and leave it this way. So 71 rating out of Rick and Goldberg. And in our opening contest of the evening in a tag team bout, 
Rey Mysterio and Ultimo Dragon defeat Chavo Guerrero and Brian Clark when Ultimo Dragon pins Brian Clark in 742. Rey Mysterio carried the match, Ultimo Dragon a 59, Rey Mysterio a 91, Clark a 42, Chavo a 47. Rey Mysterio Jr. was a star. The match got the crowd hotter, and Rey Mysterio was getting better at his gimmick. 69 rating on the match. Very surprising here. Rey and Ultimo have been awesome since we put them together. Just trying to give Mysterio something new to do instead of just being a single star. Um, and Ultimo is kind of working out well for him so far. So good stuff here. Chavo and Clark, you did your you did the duty, I guess, of uh, putting them over. Um, not much to really say about them at the moment, but uh, Rey and Ultimo, good stuff. We get a backstage promo from the Militia. Um, Guido stating that tonight all four members of the Militia are in the Battle Royal to ensure that I will be the one facing Bill Goldberg next week for the WCW Championship. And he really pushed home that he's not scared of Sting. Everybody thinks that I'm scared of this so-called icon, this crow of Sting, and I am not. And I will prove that tonight when I win this Battle Royal and go on to face Bill Goldberg next week. 74 rating on that promo. The Militia Storm has advanced, and the Guido had the crowd in the palm of his hand. Good little backstage promo from the Militia. Uh, keeping that little feud with Sting going, starting to build the baby steps of that. And about that had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. In a non-title match, AJ Styles defeats Vampiro in 1322 by a pinfall with a Styles Clash. AJ Styles in 82, Vampiro is 61, the TV title star has advanced, this match got the crowd hotter with a 79. Uh, great match here out of both guys, I think Vampiro is going to find himself back in the fold the way he's performing. Um, I didn't originally have plans for him, but I think we have to find some now, um, because he is just too good right now. But he could also be a fantastic guy for Thunder um, as well, so we can, we'll kind of play with that. Um, AJ gets a great win here. He has been on fire since he's returned in October, um, and he is still our TV champion. Obviously, this is not title, but every match he's had so far has just been fantastic. So 79 rating on that. We get a backstage more from the Dudley boys, saying that last week they unfortunately couldn't make it to Nitro, but tonight they're getting back in the ring, back in front of the crowd and ready to defend their WCW Tag Team Championships against any and all comers. 67 rating on their promo. Bubba Ray did a great job on the mic. Uh, they get confronted by the franchise, Shane Douglas and Steve Carino, um, saying that if you're a, willing to put those belts on the line, how about you put them on the, on the line tonight? And the Dudley say, no, we have a match already tonight, but next week, if you guys actually want to step up and actually have a shot of these belts we can see you next week on the first nitro of 2003 carino and uh, shane douglas kind of smile and laugh away and they walk away from the dudleys um so a little tease here uh between the two teams uh, i think we're setting up for this match for next week but uh we will see what happens after the dudleys tag team match 74 on the promo and bubba did the good job on the mic In a decent match, the Dudleys defeat Claudio and Doug Basham in 7-11 when, yeah, when Bubba Ray Dudley pins uh, Doug Basham with a 3D. Devon is 70, Bubba in 84, Doug and Claudio 48 and 41. Um, Claudio is really off his game. I don't know what I did here. What did I do? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, 70 rating out of pretty much a squash tag match is hilarious and awesome at the same time. Uh, the Dudley show excellent chemistry, and Bubba Ray looked good. Um, this is fantastic. Um, we're really starting to hit the stride now with pretty much all of our shows. of really starting to get good ratings on pretty much every match we put out there. So I think things are starting to really heat up for us. So big win for the Dudleys. Good little showcase for our developmental tag team champions, Claudio and Doug Basham. Um, I don't think Claudio is ready yet, but I think we might bring Doug Basham up uh, for uh, Thunder. So 70 rating on that. Post-match, um, the franchise hits the ring and attacks the Dudley boys, um, leaving them laying as they hold up the WCW Tag Team Championships, and they say that next week we will gladly take these titles away from you and embarrass you on the first Nitro of 2003. Uh, 73 rating on that segment. The TV title storm has advanced, and the Dud and Bubba Ray worked the crowd like usual. Um, 
So that's going to be an exciting tag team title match, I think. So let's put that on the pre-booking for next week. So not the Battle Royal, no. Let's go here. 2v2, maybe if I can find it. There we go, 2v2. And it's going to be the franchise facing off against the Dudleys. So we got oops, Steve Carino. Shane Douglas, oops, Bubba, and Devon. Perfect. And this is for the Tag Team Championships. All right, and titles, Tag Team titles. Pre book for next week. All right, there it is. It's on there now. Uh, 73 rating on the segment, like I said. Uh, we get a backstage promo from Mike Awesome saying that tonight is the beginning of his big um, arc to himself for 2003 and to get him to get that belt on the first night of 2003 and already he accomplish his big goal for next year would be the ultimate situation for him. Um, he said tonight he's going to throw the other 19 men over the top rope and go on to challenge Bill Goldberg, a man he's never actually faced in the ring for the WCW Championship next week. 71 rating on that promo from Mike Awesome. And about that had great heat and good wrestling. The War Machine Rhino defeats the Hurricane in 820 by pinfall with a gore. Uh, Rhino is 68. The Hurricane is 62. Nothing else to really report there. 73 on the match rating, which is amazing. We are starting to really hit our stride, like I said. Rhino kicks up a big victory over the Hurricane. Um, as Rhino is really trying to get his U.S. Championship back, um, he does have a rematch clause, and he wants it immediately. Uh, we're really just waiting to find out when that's going to be. And it looks like we are about to find out. Uh, Dustin Rhodes comes out onto the ramp and says that if Rhino wants his U.S. Championship back, he's more than happy to face him next week on the first Nitro of 2003 for the WCW United States Championship. Uh, Rhino obviously is totally okay with this, and we're booking another big title match for our first Nitro of 2003. So we got Rhino facing off against the new WCW United States Champion in Dustin Rhodes for the U.S. title. And U.S. Championship, perfect, pre-book, cool. All right, so that match is made now for next week. 63 rating on Dustin Rhodes' little promo there. Good stuff out of both guys. I knew this was going to be a low rating, and that's totally fine. Team Canada arrives next week. Um, looking forward to seeing what we can do with these guys. They're coming on the first uh, Nitro of 2003. Uh, Eric Young and Bobby Roode are going to be a tag team, obviously with Angel as the manager, and Lance is going to be the, the main guy. So... Looking forward to their debut next week. Uh, backstage segment, we have Scott Taylor of Zero Cool walking up to Sean O'Hare saying that he went to Ric Flair and asked for them to be the first people to face Team Canada next week to get them back on their winning ways and get them back on track towards the WCW Tag Team Championships. Uh, Sean O'Hare seems like he's cool with it and looking forward to uh, getting back in their winning ways and he's sorry that he showed some frustration last week. So we got another big match booked for next week. Another tag team contest. And it's Team Canada's debut. So it's going to be Zero Cool versus Team Canada. So Sean O'Hare, Scott Taylor, not Steiner, Taylor, versus Bobby Roode and Eric Young. Perfect. Another solid match for next week's Nitro. All right, 61 rating on that one. Uh, the Team team Canada Strong has advanced and gained heat. Wow. And an exceptional match. RVD defeats Jeff Jarrett in 13-17 by a pinfall with a 5-star frog splash. RVD in 87. Double J is 72. 85 on the segment rating. Fantastic match here, guys. This is why RVD is going to have a huge 2003, even bigger than his 2002. Um, and Double J, I think, it's time to officially get him out of the tag team with BG James there. So I think we are going to end that soon as well. Um, great stuff here. 85 on the match is just incredible. 
Um, I have I have no other crazy words. I know I deserve better color commentary, but wow, 85 on a nitro is fantastic with no build up, no feud. Uh, great stuff out of both men here. You've definitely proven your point. And then post match RVD says he's going to win this battle royal tonight. And 2003 is going to start with Mr. Monday Night becoming WCW champion as he faces Bill Goldberg next week. 71 on the segment rating. So good stuff here out of Rob. I believe this is our battle royal coming up here. It is. Okay. And about that had great heat and good wrestling. The Guido wins the 20-man battle royal in 1933 as he eliminates Sting as the final participant. Uh, Booker T and RVD were also in the final four. Guido got the most eliminations due to having his militia in the matchup. 79 rating on the match. All storylines have advanced. Uh, Mike Awesome benefited and Ultimo Dragon's getting better at his gimmick. Um, good stuff here out of everybody. Um, not much to really say here. Canyon, Nash, Jendrak, they were all in this match. Booker, a um, lot of big names in this match. And Guido was able to find a way to sneak away with the victory. And he will be facing Bill Goldberg next week for the WCW Championship. Uh, Sting was the last elimination due to Ray Gonzalez uh, stepping in and helping Guido do that. So Guido did not do that solo. Um, but this is our main event for next week's uh first nitro 2003 it is the guido versus bill goldberg now you would think oh the guido is a cruiserweight like he's gonna get squashed well he has three other guys in that militia that have clearly helped him get to where he's at here in wcw um he's also a former u.s champion and a tv champion so you never know what could happen um do i think the belt's coming off goldberg we don't know yet we're not we're not at that that match yet but um Overall, the show ends with a 72 as Goldberg is watching on the TV screen as Guido is celebrating in the ring. Let's see what we get for an overall show rating here for Monday Nitro. And we gained popularity in 16 regions with a 78 overall show. That's fantastic. Uh, we're starting to really push now towards getting to that next level with our popularity. Um, 78 is fantastic. A lot of stuff really worked out well on this show. RVD and Jarrett were way better than I expected. Same with AJ and Vampiro. Uh, Claudio and Doug Basham showed they belong, so that's awesome. Uh, there wasn't a ton of segments on this show in comparison to others, but I think you guys will enjoy this one. Uh, next week, please make sure you're there um, Sunday night. Uh, I think we are going to push back our upload just to 10 o'clock, just because I need time after work to finally you know, feel like I'm not rushing. So shoot for 10 o'clock uh, going forward now for the 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the videos. Um, but we'll see you guys next week for our first WCW of 2003 with whole new logo. And you will see the first Thunder as well coming uh, as the second part of that video. So see you guys next week.